Hello everyone, myself Dr. Kanchan Sharma and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm a qualified Ayurveda gynecologist and continuously practicing from 10 years. In this video, I am going to share each and everything about facial hairs in women. This is a common problem and this is quite a question of self-esteem. So, definitely I will tell you each and everything about that. But don't you know that every woman have facial hairs? Yes, don't get surprised. Every woman have facial hairs, body hairs, but they are very fine, very soft. And when these facial hairs become excessive in number, become coarse, hard, then definitely this is a problem. So how can Ayurveda help you in this problem? That's what I'm going to tell you in this video. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to get all the latest notifications. So before talking about the treatment, first we all must know what are the causes of excessive facial hair so that you can work on that causes also. So number one is hereditary. If in your family there is lots of hair distribution among women from generation to generation, then it can happen with you also. Number two is obesity. If you are very much obese, your lifestyle is sedentary or because of any reason you gain fat very easily, then it can also happen. Number three is hormonal imbalance. If there is lots of hormonal imbalance, your androgens level are high. Androgens are male hormone. So if male hormone increase, then definitely you can face this problem. Number four is PCOD or PCOS. This is very common problem nowadays. So if you face PCOD, PCOS problem, then definitely you have to uh, go for the treatment for that also. And number five is stress. If you take lots of stress, then definitely it will lead to hormonal imbalance and it can happen. And last is allopathic drug reaction. There are some uh, uh, drugs, allopathy drugs, which can uh, directly affect this problem. Uh, some drugs are like minoxidil or some kind of steroid. Uh, this can happen. Generally, women go for waxing or threading. See, if it suits you, then it's good. But sometimes, you know, you can face acne or rashes kind of issue. And I strongly recommend that don't use facial hair removal creams or bleach on that area because yes, they are harmful, especially on face. And clipper and trimmer, they are completely safe. You can use that. Generally, people have myth that by using clipper and trimmer, they will uh, increase the growth of facial hair. But it is not like that. They are completely safer. So you can use that. And nowadays, laser hair reduction, this is quite popular. But number one, it is costly. So everyone can't afford it. And number two, only one or two sessions can't you know provide you the results. So you have to take multiple sessions for that. Now let's talk about the two very very effective remedies and this approach is totally holistic so there is no harm. So number one is use of raw papaya. Raw papaya contains pepin and this pepin actually irritates a hair follicle. So slowly slowly if you apply this raw papaya on a daily base or on alternate day then your hair growth will be reduced. It is very effective. So you just have to take raw papaya a piece and apply on your facial hairs. But after applying this, don't go in sunlight. So you can perform this in evening or night. And after one minute, you can just wash that area. Number two remedy is take Anantamool powder. This powder is available online or in Ayurveda store. So take Anantamool powder. According to your facial hairs, you have to take the quantity and add milk into that. Make a pack and apply on that area where you have facial hairs. You can use this in 3 or 4 days. So let it dry and after that just wash it. So it is also very effective remedy for facial hairs. And if you are having facial hairs because of hormonal imbalance, then don't forget to use this home remedy which I am going to tell you. Take 100 grams of flax seed and 50 grams of carom seed and make powder, mix it well. This is your powder. You have to take half TSF after your breakfast and after your dinner with Sari Vadyasav. This Sari Vadyasav is basically do liver detox, purifies your skin. So very good for hormonal imbalance also. And flaxseed, this is a natural phytoestrogen. So boost your estrogen. So definitely it will help your facial hair growth to reduce in future. Try to follow all these home remedies for two months at least and definitely you will see the result. If you want personal consultation with me, you can directly contact by this WhatsApp number. I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching my video.